What I have to do... That's... This is mobile medicine. A doctor checks someone's heart using an iPhone. Computer scientist Dr. Peter Bentley invented the app called iStethoscope, and he claims it gives far better sound than the real thing. The iPhone is placed on the patient's chest with the microphone next to the skin. The sound produces a spectrogram, which the doctor can check on screen. What do they mean? That's how fast your heart's going right now. At the moment, the app doesn't offer a diagnosis, but that's about to change. Dr. Bentley has linked the app to a research lab that contains thousands of recordings of people's hearts. The aim is to be able to tell patients, in a heartbeat, if anything's wrong. We're about to set a, a challenge to computer scientists across Europe to create a, a piece of software that can tell the difference between normal and abnormal heart sounds. So if we can do that, then not only will we be able to sample your heart sound, it'll be able to say, maybe something wrong, see a specialist. The eye stethoscope app costs next to nothing. In some countries it's around one dollar, in others it's entirely free. Dr. Bentley holds out the prospect of anyone, anywhere, getting a diagnosis fast. And this sounds like a very simple thing, but it, it immediately opens out, um, if you like, the expertise to everywhere in the world. So now you can sample the audio out in third world countries. You can email that heart sound to the experts in the cities. So suddenly these remote villages have access to expertise that they never could have before. The medical establishment is impressed with smartphone applications but says they're an addition rather than a replacement to what doctors already have. Mark Westwood is a consultant cardiologist. I think they will be very interesting and I think they will act as an adjunct to current clinical practice. However, I don't think they will replace things say, such as the traditional doctor consultation, which I still think will be a fundamental of clinical practice. So I see them as something that will evolve and will be addition, but I don't see them as a replacement for the majority of what we do. The message there is that doctors shouldn't hang up their traditional stethoscopes just yet. Martin Benedict, The Associated Press.